Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix could not find the recovery environment error on Windows 10. If you are trying to access advanced startup option or reset your PC and you are running into this error, don't worry. This video will definitely help to restore or re-enable the recovery environment in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. Before moving forward, let me show you what I will cover in today's tutorial. First, let's check if the Windows recovery environment is enabled on your system. To do this, you will need to open command prompt with administrative privileges. Simply press Windows plus X key and select command prompt as administrator or Windows PowerShell as administrator from the menu. Once you open the command prompt, type the command reagency space forward slash info and hit enter. Now you will see some information about your system recovery environment. Look for the line that says win RE status. If it says disabled, we need to enable it. Simply type reagency space forward slash enable and press enter. Ok, now you can run reagency space forward slash info again to confirm the status has changed to enable. If it's enable, then fine. If not, then don't worry. Let's move on to the next step. Navigate to the file explorer and showing the typical path where winre.wim file is located. Next, we will make sure that system can find the necessary winre file. These files are usually stored in a .wim file, typically located in these locations. Now let's check those directories to confirm. If you find the winre file, we will need to set the correct path for it. Go back to command prompt. Type reagency space for slash set reimage space for slash path space c colon backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash recovery. Replacing the path with where your file is located if it's different and hit enter. Ok, as you can see WinRE is already enabled on our system. If not, then you can re-enable WinRE with reagency space for slash enable and hit enter to confirm. Ok, as you can see Windows recovery environment is now successfully enabled on our system. If the recovery environment is still not accessible, we might need to rebuild the boot configuration data or BCD. To do this, we will need a Windows 10 installation media. If you don't have one, you can create it using Windows Media Creation Tool. Just download it from the Microsoft's official website and follow the instructions to create a bootable USB drive. Insert the USB drive into your PC and restart it. Make sure to boot from the USB drive by selecting it in your BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you are at the Windows setup screen, 
choose repair your computer at the bottom left corner. Now go to troubleshoot and then command prompt. Now here we will run a series of commands to fix the BCD. Type port reg space forward slash fix port and press enter. If you see access is denied then type port set forward slash nt60 sys and press enter. Ok as you can see the message the boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes. Next type boot rig for slash scanos and hit enter. And finally type boot rig for slash rebuild bcd and hit enter. Now restart your computer. After this check if your recovery environment is now accessible. Repair UEFI boot configuration related tutorial is here. If rebuilding the BCD did not fix the issue, let's try to restore your system to an earlier point when the recovery environment was working properly. If you can access the recovery option, go to troubleshoot, then advanced option, then system restore. Now follow your on-screen instructions to choose a restore point. Select a date when you believe the system was functioning properly and click on finish to proceed and let the process to complete. This might take some time so be patient. If the recovery partition is missing you can recreate it but this is more advanced and require a windows installation media. Use the windows media creation tool to create a bootable usb drive. Insert the bootable USB drive and boot your system from it. Select language preferences and click on next. Click repair your computer at the bottom left. Choose troubleshoot and click command prompt. Type disk part and press enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. Now select your disk by typing cell disk your disk number and hit enter. Next type the command create partition primary size equals to 500 and press enter. Ok as you can see the message a new partition was created successfully. Next type the command format space fs equals to ntfs space quick and press enter. After that type assign letter equals to your drive letter and hit enter. Next type exit and hit enter to exit from the disk part. Note if you have access to another system with the recovery partition you can copy the recovery files to the newly created partition. To do that, type the command x copy space your recovery drive letter colon backward slash recovery space your assign drive letter colon backward slash space forward slash s space forward slash e space forward slash h space forward slash i space forward slash y. Replace the recovery drive letter with the letter of your source partition. Ok as you can see the recovery files are successfully copied to the new recovery partition. After completing the step restart your computer and check if the recovery options are appears in the recovery environment. If none of these previous steps have worked, the last resort is to update Windows 10 using Windows 10 ISO file. 
although this is not any formatting or deleting procedure but I will suggest you before you do that make sure to backup all your important data. You can use an external drive, cloud storage or any other method you prefer. Updating Windows related detailed tutorial is available here. So I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.